Good afternoon everybody um, and it's good that you can join with me this afternoon as we continue our reflections around Thy Kingdom Come and around mental health issues. And so welcome and we're going to be exploring today about God in our struggles. We've been looking at loneliness and we've been looking at self-isolation, particularly um, if we're alone. But today we're going to be looking at God in our struggles. And we're going to be reflecting on a passage from Genesis. And so can I invite you just to be still with me as we come together. Lord, we pray that you would still our hearts and minds as we reflect on Genesis today and on situations where people are struggling. We ask that you would give us a compassionate mind and a compassionate heart. Amen. Well, the reading that I want to just read to you today is from Genesis chapter 32, and it's just one verse. It's just one verse. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. I don't know your situation, um, That I don't know your journey through life, but I know my journey, and my journey has had lots of struggles. It's had lots of times when I've questioned, am I making the right choice? Uh, why am I putting up with things? And I'm quite an extrovert person in some ways, and so I only really get to know myself when I'm in the company of others. But sometimes... I'm a bit overwhelmed by what's in front of me and I have to struggle with self-confidence. I have to really sometimes build myself up to go in a situation where I know I've, I've got to go into. But sometimes people are not, haven't got that choice. They're in situations that are very difficult. And Jacob actually isn't unlike that. Jacob is going back home. He's fleeing from one set of problems um, in the family of his in-laws and returning to another set of problems back in his own family in Canaan. And sometimes families do cause problems. There can be disagreements. We can have jealousy, particularly with siblings or with members of families. And we've even got people who are living with domestic abuse. This is not a choice. These are situations that people find themselves in. It's a struggle to actually live day to day. And so despite Jacob leaving one set of problems and going to another set of problems, he's having a really sleepless night, which many of you may understand, having a sleepless night where you toss and turn and you just can't switch off. But in this situation, Jacob goes to sleep. And in the solitude of the night, he finds himself wrestling with a man, given no name. People might say he is wrestling with his demons, his demons are following around and he can't settle. But actually it isn't demons who he meets with, it's God. And he recognises that God is with him. Sometimes having that inner knowledge is quite difficult um, quite recently, I've been uh, I've been poorly with COVID nineteen, and even though I can't remember an awful lot of Holy Week and um, and Easter, I had a very high temperature, and I sensed God with me. Sensed God with me, God's stillness, and that is what gives you strength to carry on. But what about people who are struggling so much that they can't even access, even comprehend that God is with them and, um, and that God is giving them strength to carry on? And sometimes digging in deep into our, our psyche, into our hearts, maybe to un un unravel things that have hurt us and we've been struggling with, can be really helpful. But they're only helpful if we've got people to talk to about it. And I would like to say, my friends, that God is always there to listen to our struggles. 
We are never in struggles by ourselves, even though we may feel that we are alone and isolated, lonely, all the things that we talked about the last couple of days. Struggling is part of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not perfect. It's made up of people who are struggling and recognise that they have been blessed by God. And what we have to do as disciples is to uncover those struggles and to enable people to be to live true and to live to their full potential. And how do we do that? We do that by having a compassionate heart, by having ears to listen, to be aware of what's surrounding us. In my study, I live in a little cul-de-sac and um, I'm, I have no idea what's going on behind doors, behind these doors. But this I do know, that everybody has been struggling not just recently with COVID, but throughout their lives, there have been periods where they felt isolated, where they've not known what choices to make. We've all been in this situation of struggling. And Jacob recognises in Genesis that actually it is God who is giving him strength to carry on. And what's really interesting in the following verse, um, he knows him because he starts limping and he knows that he has encountered God because he has a limp. So Jacob isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Jacob is striving to be the human that God wanted him to be. And I think that's what we could all take from this, is that despite our struggles, God gives us strength. Despite our challenges, God is always with us. And people who live with domestic abuse, who are being manipulated in relationships, I would want to say these words to you, that God will give you strength and that you are never, ever alone. When Jesus walked this earth, his disciples were struggling every day with what he was doing. Jesus met people who were struggling with relationships, struggling with our identity of who they were. And living to our potential, living to be an image that Jesus wanted us to be and that God blesses us, is a long journey sometimes. None of us are perfect. We all struggle in different ways. But to have our good mental health means that we recognise that struggle, that we recognise that we're not alone, and that God is there to hold us in the palm of his hand and gives us angels around us to help us. Now, in a moment, I'm going to invite you to think of five people who you may know who are struggling at the moment for whatever reason. And I would like to offer you to think and just to uphold those people in prayer, but also to give thanks that God is holding them and to give them strength. But also you may be one of the angels that God has called to surround them, to love them and just to encourage them and to be a, uh, to be a, a, a person who walks with them on their journey. And so in the silence, we're just going to offer now some space and time for us to reflect on those people um, and we offer them to God now. And so let us come together, together in silence and in prayer.
Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And we lay before you people who, I, who we are concerned about, who are struggling at this time. We give you thanks that you are with them. And that they, we pray that they may feel your peace and their strength to sustain whatever situation that they are in. And when those choices come, as indeed they will at some point, we ask that we may be your instruments of service. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to just read something that uh, is from my the book that I have just recently uh, written. And for me, the, the analogy when I was looking at this was about struggling, was about being close to people who give us strength. And uh, for people of faith and for people who are searching, God is our strength. And it's a bit like a zip. Uh, when a zip's broken, you come apart. And so I just want to share this with you. Um, that I, I wrote just recently. Help, my zip is broken. I'm literally falling apart. Now, what do I do? Pin it? Leave a gap? Or maybe see if I can carefully re-thread the zip back into use? Oh, it's too fiddly. The zip is vital for my well-being. What a state I would be in if all my zips broke. Jesus, you are the master zip fastener that holds me together. It's you that makes me feel more confident, more dependent on your strength. Jesus, always fasten me close to you so I can depend on your love, your strength, your grace and peace. Amen. Well, we may not want solitude at the moment. We may find ourselves lonely or struggling, but be rest assured, friends, that God is with us in this time of great need. And so bless you and may the Lord keep you, bless you and shine his face upon you and give you peace until we meet tomorrow. God bless. Bye.